Lenovo Legion 5 is in its best deal right now, just get it. I know this laptop is a one year old laptop and right now the new Legion series laptops are coming out to the market but let's be honest this laptop right here at under $1500 is one of the best options you can buy right now even with the new RTX 50 series and new Intel Core Ultra 200 series CPUs I mean you can't deny the fact that 14900HX is still one of the most powerful processors in this laptop and RTX 4060 is suitable to play any game in this laptop. Let's just start with the body and chassis design. This laptop right here made uh, with almost plastic in every dimension. I mean uh, the shell and the uh, uh, keyboard deck area is made from plastic but it is good plastic. It is uh, stiff and there is no flex with the keyboard. And also the lid is made out of aluminium which I like a lot and I think it is one of the best well made laptops in the market right now as for the keyboard i can say the keyboard is one of the best keyboards out there in any laptop because it has full size keyboard it has good travel it has a clicky keyboard i like it and also the keyboard has four zoom rgb lighting which is great and you can use and customize this rgb via lenovo vantage software application which is great as for the ports i like the ports here a lot why because we have five usb ports three USB type A ports, two USB type C ports, and all of them are USB 3.2. I mean, USB type C ports are 10 gigabits per second. One of the USB type A ports are five gigabits per second, and the other two is 10 gigabits per second, which is okay. But uh, the lack of Thunderbolt ports in this laptop is a little concerning. It might be a problem for some people that wants to use the type c port as a thunderbolt but at least we have display port and we can get display out from these type c ports also we got hdmi 2.1 and uh, rj45 at one gigabit per second and also the charger uh, for this laptop can charge this laptop up to 230 watts which is great and i didn't see any battery drain with this laptop and everything about the charger was great except the weight of it because uh, it weighs around uh, one close and the weight with the laptop is around 3.3 uh, kilos which is a lot in my opinion uh, we also have a micro sd card that no one will use and i don't know why they use they still use micro sd on these kind of laptops but here we are with micro sd ports for this section, I can give this laptop a 9 out of 10 score. I mean, uh, there is nothing wrong with it, except one thing, and that is the hinge. Uh, the hinge is good enough, I like it, but the problem with it is it is a one axis hinge. One axis hinges are not great for durability, and they have a little wobble to it, but uh, this laptop handles it perfectly, but I prefer to have two axis hinges, on this kind of laptops at this price point. Okay, let's talk about the screen. The screen here is a 2.5K 165Hz 16 by 10 16 inch display with 100% of sRGB and I mean everything about this screen is well done and well enough. But the problem with it is it's maxed at 315 nits of brightness but there is other models uh, with 500 nits of brightness which is great. If you can find them, just get them. But if you can't, there is nothing wrong with this display. You can live with it and there may be some scenarios that this screen can handle bright areas like working under the direct sunlight. You can't work with this screen in that area, but it is okay. I mean, uh, consider this price. It's a good screen. For this section, I can give this laptop an 8 out of 10 score, which is okay. Okay, let's talk about performance. This laptop right here has an Intel Core i9-4900HX processor with 24 cores, which is great. And I mean, this is one of the best CPUs out there, even with the new Intel Core Ultra 200HX processors. And with this CPU, we have a NVIDIA RTX 4060 at 140 watts 
which is good and it means it can be one of the best 4060s in the market right now as for the overall performance i can say i like the performance here uh, i i didn't have any problem with it and overall the performance was great the cooling was great the fan noise was great and the heat management was perfectly fine and i didn't have any problems as for the benchmarks we tested cinemesh r23 in this laptop and we got uh, more than 25,000 scores with cinemesh r23 this score is good enough for the cpu and i like the performance of this laptop with this cpu but i've seen better results with this cpu so this laptop handled this cpu fine it is not that perfect but it is okay we also tested cinemesh 2024 in this machine and in that test tube we got almost 1500 scores in multi-core which is good and i mean uh, this is the score we expect to see on 4900 hx processor uh, we've seen better results but this is the score we expect to see on any laptop and also in GPU test we got more than 10,700 scores which is great. We also tested Geekbench in this machine and in Geekbench 2 we got 18,000 scores which is one of the best scores we've seen in any Windows laptop till now. We also tested Time Spy in this machine to see how well it can perform in 3D applications and games and in that test too we got good results like uh, 11,800 scores which is great and it is one of the highest scores we've seen with this configuration we also tested some content creation workloads like adobe premiere and adobe after effects in this machine and in adobe premiere we got 4 minutes and 30 seconds of render time which is great it means this laptop can handle your uh, video encoding and video editing workloads without any problem and also uh, i should mention that you can upgrade the ram for this laptop up to 96 gigabytes of ram which is great but i suggest you to uh, use it at max at 64 gigabytes because some applications may not work well with that amount of ram we also tested adobe after effects in this machine and in adobe after effects 2 we got 4 minutes and 14 seconds which is one of the best scores we've seen uh, that's because of the high single core score we saw in this laptop which is great i mean this cpu in this laptop can work perfectly fine we also tested some games in this laptop like cyberpunk 2077 in five different scenarios and in all scenarios we got good results uh, with fsr tv we got uh, playable results but in the other scenarios the frame rates were okay and uh, compared to other competition i can say the s scores for cyberpunk in this laptop was great and i should mention that we tested cyberpunk in 2.5k resolution we also tested rainbow six siege in four different scenarios ultra high low and ultra in fhd plus and in all scenarios we got more than 165 hertz it means this laptop can handle eSport titles without hesitation for you which is great we also tested apex legends in this machine and in apex legends we got more than 160 in average in the low preset which is great but the ultra preset wasn't that great i hope to see better results in the next upcoming windows update i think we also tested Shadow of the Tomb Raider in this laptop and we got uh, good results. It means this laptop can handle three pedal titles without a problem like Invocant 2. Uh, we got good results and I think you should change your graphic settings in every three pedal titles to get more than 60 FPS and have a stable experience in any game. We also tested the new trendy game Marvel Rivals in this laptop and in the Marvel Rivals 2. Uh, we got more than 60 fps in ultra but but the minimum fps wasn't that great because of that we tested this laptop in low preset 2 and in low preset we got uh, playable frame rates for esport titles for this session i can say i like the performance for this laptop and i can give it an 8 out of 10 score okay how about speakers webcam and battery life the speakers for this laptop are okay they are mediocre speakers uh, they are not that great, they are not that bad, but I don't know why, but Lenovo Legion laptops usually doesn't have a good speakers and because of that they have okay speakers.
Although this is the webcam quality of Lenovo Legion 5 and what do you think about it? It has a 1080p webcam and I think it is okay but uh, it feels like a 720p webcam. What do you think about it? Tell us in the comments below. And also, what do you think about the mic quality? It is positioned beside the camera. What do you think about it? Tell us in the comments below. As for the battery life, uh, this laptop comes with 83 watt hour battery and the battery life like any other Legion laptops aren't that great compared to competition and uh, I can say one of the reasons this laptop doesn't have a good battery life like 2 to 3 hours at max to 4 hours of battery life isn't good enough for anyone and one of the reasons is Intel power hungry HX processor I hope to see better results in the future with new Intel processors but right now they are not that efficient and I can't say laptops with that kind of processor are portable. This is not a portable laptop. Overall, I want to say I like this laptop if you can find it on online deals. This can be one of the great options to buy right now and just find the best deal you can for this laptop because this laptop deserves a big like and I can give it an 8 out of 10. This means if you want to buy this laptop, just go ahead right away and buy it. There is no problem with it. What do you think about the Lenovo Legion 5 2024? Tell us in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.